All right, good morning. Hey, listen, I just knocked out an, uh, an additional set of dips. Okay, so just to recap, my workout was 200 push-ups this morning, which I did four sets of 50. So I did 50 push-ups four times, and I did 35 dips. But then I just did another 14 right now. So that's 49 dips. So I've done 49 dips and 200 push-ups. I did that all within an hour this morning, earlier. It's about eight o'clock right now, a little after eight or approaching nine actually. But I got up early, I got up at like before 5 a.m. and just wanted to get a start in the day because I got a lot of stuff to do today. Like right now I'm going to the store. And uh, so I got a bunch of stuff I got to take care of. Might as well get the shopping out of the way first. And been listening to my audio Bible, which I do that on a daily basis. I learn a lot. I get fed from the word. That's just me. Again, I don't force that onto anybody, but it does a lot for me. It feeds my soul. I learn God's mindset, what he wants to say to us, what he wants to say to me. And uh, I pray to the Lord for an open heart to receive his, his message from his word. Um, beyond that, you know, I pray. I just prayed. I pray for specifics. Like, again, I tell this to you guys all the time on YouTube. If you guys want me to pray for you, I very much will. Because I pray every day. It's important. I want to establish and then maintain a relationship with the Lord Jesus. That's just me. I think there's a lot of benefit to that. He is, to me, the only way to go to get the inner peace that we all are seeking in this life. A lot of people are going to look for different ways to seek peace. Now, when I was in the military, I don't know if I was necessarily seeking peace. I was just seeking war. Because <laughs> I joined the Marines. I wanted, I wanted to fight. I was filled. I was pumped up. I was filled with all kind of inner turmoil and anger. I still do have anger. PTSD and all that. But I just manage it better. Um, PTSD is going to be part of who I am for the rest of my life. The only big difference is I just manage my life better. Uh, I trust I trust God I even with all the difficulties that are going on in my life I maintain my faith in the Lord I know he's gonna come through I pray about it I'm never gonna give up I'm not gonna give up on God I know he won't give up on me there's lessons to be learned sometimes you don't even know what they are I don't know what they are half the time because Sometimes you're just like, why is this happening? Why did that happen? How come I went through a divorce? How come my marriage didn't work out? But there's no fingers to point blame at. You can't blame yourself. You can't blame the other person that was in the marriage with you, the, your ex-spouse. It's not about pointing fingers. It's about learning how to be a better person to yourself so that you can be a better person to others and therefore even attract a better person to yourself because of your being a better person. And it's important to be, for me, spiritually founded and grounded for you to get that, that ability to attract another person to you that's also spiritually grounded so that you guys have a lot of like interests, you guys have a lot in common. That's one thing about I noticed me and my ex were very different in the way we thought about things, extremely different on, on our philosophies of everything. <laughs> Family, life, what a marriage should be, how to pursue a godly life. Um, 
our viewpoints on traveling, on animals, on material possessions, on jobs, on on everything that you can imagine, we did not mesh. We didn't see eye to eye. We were, if I said it's blue, she said it's green. We just didn't match. So I learned about uh, how, you know, through that, like, why, how did that happen? How did, the, how did this person become part of my life to that point where we were married for three years and, and went through hell on earth for three years? But you, you can't really always get the right answer and nail it down in, in the sense of how did that happen? What's wrong with me? You can't do that. Things happen. Life, life is what it is. Um, what you can do is figure out a way to become a better version of you so that you learn from your, your past so that you can therefore attract what you do want into your life based upon your faith, based upon how you treat God, how you treat each other, how to treat yourself. So you got to treat God good. He's going to treat you good. But how are you going to treat God? And then you're going to treat yourself good, which is your temple. You're going to drink water. You're going to eat vegetables. You're going to eat whole fruit. You're just going to be a better you. It's important to treat yourself with respect. You treat yourself with respect, you attract that from other people. They treat you with respect. If you're around somebody who's treating you less than what you deserve, you hit the road or make them hit the road or you go your separate ways, no harm, no foul. Because you have to take care of you. You have to be good to your temple. If you're going to get baptized into the Lord Jesus and he's going to reside in your heart, he's going to reside in your body, you don't want nobody disrespecting your temple that holds the Lord Jesus. So treat yourself good. Let me know what you want me to pray for you for. And I'm very motivated about my workouts. I'm very happy about the fact that I'm eating better and I'm consistent with my my daily workouts consistent with my prayers feels really good so I know there's gonna be breakthroughs things that I want to happen that I've been asking the Lord for those things are gonna happen I believe it faith so this is Staff Sergeant Calhoun from Whittier hoping you guys have a great Thursday July 23rd and uh, oh yeah one more thing for David Goggins you don't know me son late